was loud as hell. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. Hello, William. Is that you? Um. Yes, who is it? It's me, Rich. Heard you got out. Want to know how you were doing. I'm fine. And I'm totally adequate. And that's what you mean. Never offer my condolences, my friend. Sorry. And all the commotion never had a chance to get through to you. Oh. Alright, forget it. Listen, I think we should meet. Let's go to Hanson's bar, just like old time. Drink, relax, talk. I'm paying. I'm not allowed to drink alcohol or leave the house for long periods of time. So it's a matter of time, Rich. Well, and the more reason, too, is especially dangerous to mix alcohol with solitude. William Faulkner. How long ago did you start using quotes? I thought they advised me to take up art, books, painting, music, you know. Alright, man. I think it would really do you good to stay home. If you need anything, don't hesitate to call me. I'm always glad to help. Alright, see you later. Goodbye. Okay. Mm. See, so space interact with things. What's well, hippers on the floor right here? No? Okay. I guess we got some, what is that? Pills from your doctor? Ooh, we can help you draw. William? Okay. What? Who's that? William, look. Who the hell is that? William, it hurts me. Emily? No way. William, I can't breathe. Emily, is that you? God, I need my pills right away. I'm in a hell of a lot of pain, William. Get out of my head. That creature, it killed us. It killed everyone. Christopher, Susan. Please, enough. Oh, God. Not Susan. It was killed before my eyes. Beloved, I beg you. Revenge. It will kill me more if you don't stop it. Get the pills. The jar of pills is empty. Oh. Here's William. You have to kill him. He will answer for everything. What? Do we not want the key? I guess we don't want the key. I don't know why I picked up these papers off the floor. Don't know. Well, I guess we can't leave. We can't take the key. We need to call Jaina. Um, gay? Okay, that's fine for a second. Good afternoon, may I speak to Jean Brooks? 
Oh, it's me. I'm listening to you very carefully. My name is Mitchell Cross. I'm a private investigator investigating the murder of the Quiet Seven. What do you want from me? I'd like to meet you and ask you a few questions. It won't be a good time for you. Do you have an appropriate warrant? Naturally, I like to chat in the more informal setting. I'm running out of meeting out of a meeting at Hanson's bar in an hour. We could chat there. Thank you. I'll be there in an hour. Okay, so I guess we're doing that. I thought we weren't I guess we can leave but not for a long period period of time. Before I went to the asylum, I managed to leave a couple of notes and steal some documents from the archives. Never thought I'd have to use a name other than my own, but it's forced measure. She went and talked to a detective who just got out of a mental institution. And a thick warrant would help me get such precious evidence. The last untested witness was Miss Jean. She was questioned by my colleagues, but I'm a little distrustful of their professionalism. She lived near the crime scene, and I think I can try to get a little more information out of her. Okay. Ooh. Ladies love wine. Depends on the wine. Miss Kylie Jean. Good evening, Miss Mrs. Jana. Hello, Detective Mitchell. You're just in time. I was just about to leave. Don't worry, I have a few questions I'd like to ask you. It won't keep you long. Alright, Detective, I'm listening to you. Hmm, from the beginning, are you married? Oh, dear Detective, are you sure this is going to help the investigation? Or maybe it's more of a personal question. Dear Jean, I want to ask you to answer the questions clearly. I am divorced. What is the reason for a divorce? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, it helped the investigation? I didn't really understand. It could help the investigation a lot. Am I the only one who thinks I don't look like a nun from St. George Convent? If your investigation goes through my underwear, I won't let you look at me again without a warrant. I agreed to talk to you out of compassion for the victims of the maniac, not out of a great desire to talk to you. I want to punish you this scum for everything he's done. Okay, I don't want to lie because lying means you have to lie about something else and lies and yeah. Once you lie about one thing, you have to keep lying. What do you know about the series of murders? An events that took place a year and a half ago. Newspapers dubbed it the Silent Seven at the time. Gosh, I've asked this question dozens of times to your colleagues. I don't understand. Do you absolutely not keep and make any general records in your archives? I feel like you do the interrogation first and then burn it to forget everything on purpose. And by the way, didn't you put the guilty party behind bars? Yeah. Tell me everything you know. Unfortunately, I can't give you all the details of the investigation. I don't trust the official version of the police. They decided that the murder of the Gatch family was a failed robbery and doesn't lie on the hands of a maniac. My opinion is that this is all one series of events. The hand running of the crime is different and the motives are not clear to me, but there is a fact. Crime stopped after the accused was put behind bars. That doesn't mean they found the real killer, but at least they got a lead. Oh, are you familiar with the victims? Okay. Have any suspects? 
One time, these incidents had badly damaged the attendance of my orphanage. For this reason, I decided to do my own investigation. From my observations, this clearly couldn't have been committed by Kenneth Siggs, who was sentenced to death. Who was sentenced to death. All evidence suggests that the crime was committed by someone at the police station. There are many factors pointing to this. From the complete mess of the evidence, it points to William Gatz, the fact that in the same year, right after Kenneth public trial, one of the police officers was put away in a mental institution. Unfortunately, there was very little information about it, so I didn't only know his name, unfortunately. I think that's why he, he was hidden away in St. Louis Mentalist Hospital. I think he is the killer, and the police just decided not to go public with the fact that the bastard worked for them. I have all these murders. I think we actually are that person. We look a little shifty. Well, very shifty. Who's in my mansion? Who can verify this fact? Are you crazy? You suspect me? Okay, detective. I may can verify that. It should be in your records, shouldn't it? I answered that question in the previous interview. I have no reason to commit to any of this. I am a successful and self-sufficient woman. You should look elsewhere for the killer. What do you work as? At the moment, I am a director of the Paul Foundation. I also run an animal shelter. Okay. I have no more questions for you, Miss Jean. Wish you a good evening. Take care. Yeah, we we are. I think we're the killer. It's just. Let's see. Can I give it to her? No. I guess we gotta walk back then. But yeah, just from the looks of us, I can tell that. Um, Something is not right with this character. Oh, why are you so tall? What are you doing here? Don't shout like that, Rich. Please. What's the matter? Are you afraid that a pretty girl at the table might hear? Rich, I need to go home. I don't think that's very polite, Rich. What a pity. You're you're hella tall, man. After meeting Jean, I had kind of a double feeling. I think she was hiding something. On one hand, Cook was thin and had small feet. Jean fits the description, but she has an alibi because their whereabouts were confirmed by the maid. At first, they questioned her. She was telling the truth. Although, there was a gap of two hours between the maid's testimony and the time of the murder. There's enough time to get out and back in. On the other hand, Jean knows a lot about the investigation. Speculation about someone sabotaging the process from within, confirmed by my observations when I was still on duty. Of course, it's on our side. In your case, you tie something. Definitely the last player and what happened. You know, if she wants to help, she must have motives. Hello? What the hell was that? Detective? What well, it may have seen. Please, Detective, help me. Who are you? My name is Lily. What's wrong with your neck? The killer left this. Remember who it was? William, I'll show you around. Just promise me you'll visit my mother. She's old and all alone. Take care of her. Can you show me? What happened? 
believe. Yes, um, sorry, please. I promise you. Okay. Um, what? Why are we a woman now? I just can't open this door. It's not letting me. Okay, we have a raincoat. Oh. Let's see. Oh, we didn't go the other way. That's fine. What the hell? Oh my god. Mm. Um, Mr. Did, did you want something? Is this... Uh, what? Oh. Okay. Um... Well, that was a um, picture of deads. This is just a demo, but um, definitely odd. I do love the character designs and the atmosphere. It's definitely like um, complex. So yeah, very um, complex, honestly. Um, it did scare me towards the end. <laughs> with the guy running behind us and everything, but I do I do like this game. Um, I definitely feel like our character, the main character, I guess, is a killer, but who knows? Um, but yeah, Picture of the Deads. If you like this game and want to, I guess, play the full version when that is out, of course, this game will be in the description below so y'all can follow the development. Um, so there's that. I do honestly like, like this game a lot. Did scare me a few times, like here and there. It's like I think it was like two times, so <laughs> it got me. But hopefully, y'all, um, I guess, enjoyed this video. Of course, if y'all did, don't hesitate to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the aesthetics and the character designs as well. I think they're pretty good, unique, def definitely. So there's that. Um, but. I'm gonna stop rambling, leave it here. So, hopefully, y'all had a good day. Again, yesterday and better tomorrow. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.